You guys, I did a thing earlier this week and I'm gonna share what happened. So right now, I'm in front of the Barney's dealer and I got a new bike, but I'm not gonna share what I got with you just yet because I kind of want it to be a surprise. That's a good luck on you. I'm waiting on my dad and my sister to pick me up because I'm kind of on their way down south. So they're gonna scoop me up from a gas station. I'm gonna leave my car here. I got all of my stuff packed up back there and I'm about to reveal to you what I got earlier this week. You guys ready? Dun, da, da, dun. We got a 2020 YZ250 FX electric start and it's got nice blue rims. She's beautiful and I'm so excited to ride her today. Still has the sticker up here and yeah. I'm waiting for my dad. I'll give you guys a little bit of a background. When we went to the dealership on, when was it, Wednesday, I was not expecting to get a new bike. I went in there with Jacob to pick up his brand new bike, and they're like, oh, we have this FX here. And I'm like, okay, do you want us to give you a price? And I'm like, no, I'm sure it's gonna be really expensive out of my budget, no. And then he gave me the price, then he gave me the, the cost of my trade-in, my KTM. And then I thought about it and I was just like, I don't know. So we left the dealership and literally the first stoplight I looked at Jacob and I'm like, I think we should go back and get it. So we went back and got it and I'm the proud owner of a 250FX and I'm really, really stoked about it. And you guys are probably like, well, what made you jump from the 150 to the 250? And the answer is, I rode a 250 before I got the 150. I took about eight months off and I thought the 150 would be a good way for me to get familiar again with racing and, you know, to, to slowly get back into it. And for the past couple of months, I, I've really been talking about wanting to get another 250. So that's why I ended up getting. And sure, this might seem like spur of the moment, but Jake's like, you've been talking about this for like years. We've been talking about this for years. And I'm like, that is so true. So something we've been thinking about and we finally pulled the trigger on. And after riding it on Wednesday, I definitely made the right decision and Jacob now wants one. So that says a lot when the guy who rode every single motorcycle last season says that this is the best motorcycle he's ever ridden. That says a lot. And he's not one to exaggerate, you know? This question I'm sure I'll get is, why did you choose a Yamaha over a KTM? Not a brand snob. I've always preferred Yamahas. I just, you know, the KTM popped up for a decent price and it had the, the button. So that's why I got it. It was a great bike, no complaints. It's a bike, you know? but I think I'm gonna like this one better for multiple reasons. But I'm really excited to go to a lot of the uh, out-of-state Enduros and I think I'm gonna do really well on this. So it'll be really nice to have a little bit more power and a little bit more weight underneath me. So very pumped, very pumped to see how this goes, how this new adventure goes. Uh, and on Wednesday when we were at the track, I, I already dropped it, I dropped it twice and I almost teared up, but it's it needs to be lowered. It's pretty tall for me, and I think I need to get some suspension work done to it as well, and then set it up for woods racing, of course. Need bark busters, I need a spark arrestor, I need a couple of those things. So maybe I'll film a video on how I get my bike woods ready, woods, woods racing ready, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Front number plate. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs>